Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we're going to start with the geometric power series, and we're going to find a power series representation for a related function by means of differentiation. We'll begin with the power series representation for the function 1 over 1 minus x. That would be the summation n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. And this power series is valid as long as the absolute value of x is less than 1. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to differentiate both sides of this equation. So the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x is going to equal the derivative of the summation n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. The derivative of 1, mi 1 over 1 minus x, we can figure by rewriting that as 1 minus x to the power minus 1. So the derivative is minus 1 times 1 minus x to the minus 2 using the power rule, and then times the derivative of the inside by the chain rule, and that would be another minus 1. So finally, minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So the derivative is 1 minus x to the power negative 2, which could be written as 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared. So 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared, the power series representation for that will be given by the derivative of this power series that you see on the right side of that equation. <clears throat> so to differentiate a power series, you can move the derivative inside. In other words, you can differentiate term by term. So this will become the summation n equals 0 to infinity of the derivative of x to the n. And that's an easy derivative, the derivative of the power function. So this is the summation n equals 0 to infinity of n times x to the n minus 1. So there's a power series representation for 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared using the derivative of both sides of the equation for 1 over 1 minus x. Uh, let's differentiate again. The derivative of 1 over 1 minus x squared will equal the derivative of the summation n equals 0 to infinity of n times x to the n minus 1. Actually here, what we notice that when n is equal to 0, the first term will be 0 times x to the negative 1, which we'll treat as 0. So here we could start n at 1. <clears throat> so the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x quantity squared here, using the same ideas as here, is going to be 2 over 1 minus x quantity cubed. And now taking the derivative of the power series by moving the differentiation operator inside of the summation, this is equal to the summation n equals 1 to infinity of the derivative of n times x to the n minus 1. And now, this derivative is easy to compute. n is a constant with regard to the variable x. So we use the power rule again on x to the n minus 1. So this is equal to the summation n equals 1 to infinity of n times n minus 1 times x to the power n minus 2. And again here, when n is equal to 1, we get a factor of 0. So this power series could be started at n equals 2 instead. So there's a power series for 2 over 1 minus x quantity cubed via differentiation. And last comment, the interval of convergence of the original power series was absolute value of x less than 1. When you take the derivative of both sides of the equation, the interval of convergence remains the same. So here, the interval of convergence was absolute value of x less than 1. And in the last one as well, the absolute value of x less than 1. So that's been a little presentation 
on differentiation of power series. I hope you found it instructive.